What's up guys, it's HammerDown48 coming at you today. We're going to take a quick preview of this week's matchup against my team, the Detroit Lions versus the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns are 0-8, the Detroit Lions are 4-4. My team coming off a huge win last week against the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football. Kind of boost us, kind of raise us up in the division, um, kind of gave us a little bit more confidence. Um, going into this coming up week and, and the weeks on. Um, so we're going to take a little quick preview and, and look at this matchup going through here. Now, there's not really much matchup going through here. I mean, it's it's a really uneven matchup. Obviously, on the matchup predictor, they have the Detroit Lions winning 78.0% to 21.8%. Um, my opinion, this is a no-brainer. This is a should be a blowout. Uh, this should be, in my opinion, a 31 or 40 points in this game. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Speaking of which, as we go on from this week to week 17, we have to take every game seriously. Every game seriously. We have to take precaution, make sure everybody is healthy, and no injuries. Because I know we have an easy schedule from now to week 17. But we also have to take every game seriously. We can't get ahead of ourselves to say, yeah, we have an easy schedule. And pff, we're playing the Cleveland Browns this week. Pff, pff. We also have to make sure we get that win. And not just go in this game and, and, and slack off and... And say this is a horrible team. We can't do that. We got to take every single week from now to week 17, every game seriously. We need to play like we did last week. If we can do that, I think we can fucking be a phenomenal team to win this division. So, um, like I said, there's not really much to talk about. I mean, we're going to do a little quick preview. Um... The stats here, passing, Matthew Stafford, 189 over 303 passes, 2,212 yards, 14 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Uh, Amir Abdul, 102 carry, or, sorry, 122 carries, 417 yards, 2 touchdowns. And Golden Tate, 50 receptions, 562 yards, and 2 touchdowns. Um, on the Cleveland Brown side, um, I guess his last name's Kaiser, Kaiser or sorry Kaiser, uh, uh, 113, 1,144 yards, three touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. Irish, I think his name is Irish or is I don't know how to pronounce his name. Isaiah Correll. Cor uh, he's got 351 uh, rushing yards and one touchdown. And Johnson Jr. has 176 yards and two touchdowns. So, I mean, there's not really much to talk about besides just we need to show up and not slack off, basically. Um, don't, don't, the way I look at it, don't let your foot off the gas pedal. Don't let that foot come off the gas pedal. You see you got a easy team. Keep that pedal or that foot on that gas pedal. Let's just keep cruising on. And it this should be a no-brainer. I mean, if we lose, if we lose this week, I'm going to be really disappointed. Everybody be disappointed. A lot I mean, I on the spreadsheet they have the Detroit Lions winning uh, 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 on the spreadsheet 11.0. So, like I said, I mean, let's let's go to this game. Let's knock the Cleveland Browns out. I know we got an easy schedule, and I, I'm gonna say it again. Every week we have to take precaution. We got to take every game serious this week, and throughout the weeks from week 17. Um, on the injury list. 
Zeke Anza, questionable. Kenny Galladay, questionable. I'd like to see Kenny Galladay back in this week. When's the last time we've seen Kenny Galladay, you know? Uh, and TJ Lang was questionable. I heard throughout the week he was in a con uh, concussion protocol. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I hope we can get him back. We might need him. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, it's not. I don't really have much to talk about this week. Um, like I said, this is, should be a no-brainer. This should be an automatic win. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But, like I said, I hope the Detroit Lions come prepare for this game and not say, well, this is an easy team. Let's kind of cut back this week and then regain next week. No. Keep that foot on the gas pedal. And let's keep moving on and start clicking wins. And let's chase the Minnesota Vikings. So, anyways, sorry for the short video. Um, like I said, it's not really much to talk about this week. Um, like I said, this is in Detroit. Hope you guys like this video. Let me see your comments below. What do you guys think? Um, on my comments on this video, should, should we keep the foot on that gas pedal and just keep cruising? My opinion, yes. You don't know what the Cleveland Browns are going to do and, and pull out, put out their ass, you know. You, you never know what's going to happen. So, let me see your guys' comments below. Hit that like sub button if you're not a subscriber. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. And uh, like I always say, let's go Lions. Let's pry it up. Let's defend the den. Let's crush the Cleveland Browns. And move on to next week. So thank you guys for watching. This is Hammerdown48 coming at you. And go Lions.